So the question is to use a vertical line test to determine whether the graph represents a function. So I'm given this graph and I have a line here. And the vertical line test is where you take a vertical line and you're going to drag it across the curve of the graph. And what you're looking at is through the intersection of the vertical line and the graph. So this pink line is the graph I'm looking at and my yellow line is my vertical line and you want to see that it only meets in one location so you see that if I drag this line across the curve it only touches in one location so this pink graph is in fact a function and we know it is because we know that it's a line so let's use another example let's use this so now I'm going to take my vertical line and I'm going to drag it across my curve. Ah, you see here, it actually meets in two locations. And you know with a function, you can only have one output for each input. So here I have an input of negative 0.7, but I have an output of 1.6, and I also have an output, output of negative 1.6. So when I drag this line across, you see that it's actually meeting the intersection in two locations. So this curve here is not a function. So let's use another example. Let's take this one You say, okay, well, there's all of these up and down loops, but when I drag my vertical line across all the up and down loops, you see it only meets in one location. So this blue set of mountains, which is a sine wave, is a function. It only meets in one location. So wherever I drag it, if I try to find the intersection, you'll see that all the way across this whole curve, there's only one location that it meets. So let's take a look at something else that might be a little trickier. So you go, hmm, I don't know about this one. So I'm going to drag my line here, and it looks like this looks vertical, but it's not actually vertical. When I move my line across it, it's still only meeting in one location. So that end behavior is going to be almost vertical, but it's not. It's just going up very, very quickly. So this is a polynomial, and this is a function. It only meets in one location for the whole curve. Now let's take a look at this curve here. Say, hmm, well, this one might be tricky. So far, it looks like it is a function up to this point. Well, now we get to this point here, and you see that actually there are three values, three y values for point 0.9. So this is not a function because there's more than one output for a given input. It doesn't matter actually that for the rest of the curve, there's only one output because right in this location in here, there's more than one output, and that means that this curve is not a function.